Hi everyone, this is Val. Uh, I'm going to just review quickly here how you would write a PICO formatted question. So if you look at the um, goals for this little mini presentation, the first part is that you want to be able to identify the specific parts of a PICO formatted question, uh, which we de definitely will be using in the evidence-based practice process. Um, you should also be able to get some practice writing an actual PICO formatted question. That will be actually one of your um, assignments for this week and um, you'll develop your own question and get feedback from me about that. So what does PICO stand for? PICO is an acronym that represents the following components of a good clinical question. The first one, the P, is for patient or population and the problem that you're, that you're uh, thinking about looking at. The second, the I, is the intervention or action which is questioned. What are you looking to do uh, to make a difference with the problem? C is a comparison group to your patient or population. Um, o is your outcome or what, what do you expect to see from your action or intervention? And as uh, always, we want a time frame um, in which you'll be measuring your project. So PICO is what we're going to try to practice. So when you're writing your P statement, um, you want to be as specific as possible and narrow down to narrow down your question so you're really addressing the, the patient or population problem that you're really looking at. So for example, this um, first example shows that students under the age of 14, very, very specific. So I know exactly what the age group of the students are. In this particular project, I'm not really concerned whether they're boys or girls, so a general statement like that works. And then I want to look at who did not have the flu vaccine. So I'm looking at um, a very, very specific group of people. You can also include in this particular part of the statement a specific floor or unit, um, particularly if you're in a hospital. Often um, clinical questions are addressed uh, unit by unit, um, so sometimes um, you may want to include that. So for example, patients who have received total hip replacement surgery who are on the orthopedic floor. That would be a simple example. The second part of a PICO uh, structured question is the intervention. So the intervention should be very specific to the action or what you're going to do. So for example, uh, an intervention that I'm interested in exploring in this particular uh, example is the use of lavender as a sleep aid on patient pillows to aid in falling asleep. Um, again, be specific in what the action is you're looking for. Um, the application of ice prior to injection of Lovenox reduces pain. So I'm looking um, specifically at applying ice um, as a way to reduce pain um, from a Lovenox injection. So writing to comparison. The C part of the PICO question um, should really be the opposite group when you're comparing um, to a group that does have an intervention and a group that doesn't. So in this example, patients who receive lavender prior to sleep compared with patients who re receive prescribed sleep medication, for example. Is there a difference in those two uh, particular groups? When you're writing an outcome, again, very similar to when you write your SMART goals, you want to make sure that it's something that um, uh, is an outcome that is going to be measurable. So um, this example, patients who receive lavender will have deeper REM sleep than patients who receive sleeping medication. I can measure what REM sleep looks like and I should be able to monitor that for the patients who get the lavender versus the sleep medication. So that's, that's a doable outcome. Um, uh, sometimes we get in a trap of having more than one outcome, which is um, certainly something to look at. However, make sure it relates to 
directly to your problem or your uh, question because um, if it doesn't relate and it won't be as direct in when you develop a project. The last part is your time. Again, I use a very specific time period, very much like SMART goals um, for the period of the next three months, for the period of a month. You wanna make sure that you have a very clear idea of how long uh, this particular project is gonna take or last. An additional resource that has more examples of what particle formatted questions look like um, is through the National University Library System, which is available online. There's the link, feel free to check it out. Um, there's some really good examples of what each format looks like for you to look at. If you have any other questions as you're getting ready to write your own PICO formatted question, don't hesitate to email me right at my Hassan email. Thanks so much.